the Dolphins' leader at quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Dolphins and the Vikings. All that and more coming up next. A city known for its incredible skyline, its nightlife and beaches today centered around this venue, Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. One final time this regular season. As always, joined by Brock Hewitt and I'm Kate Scott as we get ready to put a bow on what has been an outstanding 18 weeks of football. There's the 14 other teams across the NFL, Kate. This isn't the end for them. This is their last chance to tune up before they play on in the postseason chasing that Super Bowl ring. But for the other 18, this is it. Their final chapter. Their final chapter in a story to take the field until September rolls around again. And for some, frankly, well, this might be the last time they ever put the pads on. So leave everything you got out there and do everything in your power to go get... some the final chapter of the season for others a final week before the playoffs and we're off in week 18. Uh oh it's a fumble on the opening kick and they steal it back on the return neither offense has even taken the field yet and already brock a massive swing in this contest yeah think about it this way kate if we didn't have the coin toss before the game and one team got the ball to start both halves what an advantage it would be, and that's exactly what this offense has right now. And he carries it for a big gain that gets him down into the red zone. Second and three now. From the 19. From the pocket, look, here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And that pushes them back, third down, coming up. And now this defense is on that sack board and sets up a pretty good chance here on third down. It's a little bit like blood in the water with sharks when it comes to taking sacks. You can feel it as a quarterback. And they get to him again! And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Well, this is exactly what the defense wants to do to these quarterbacks. You want to speed them up, and the best way to do it is to hit them and bring them to the ground. Conversely, they've got to figure out offensively how to protect. If you can't protect, you can't execute, you can't do anything offensively. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And here come the Vikings, taking the field for their first drive of the game. And they're brought out by the 10th pick of the 2024 draft, a national champion at Michigan, J.J. McCarthy. Some tough luck last week for this quarterback, Kate. Two touchdowns, the one interception, and you just know the way it works. These coaches love to tell us they always think about the losses. They sting way more than the wins. It's the same thing with the quarterback. He's not thinking about the touchdowns. He's thinking about correcting that interception and knowing right here, he's got to play some clean ball. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Timeout called on the field. So we've got a player shaken up and at the worst time, too. They just wanted to keep everyone healthy entering the playoffs next week. Second down now, seven to go. From the 28. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Motion in left is their running back. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Fields this one at the 19. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. New series coming up following the punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. 
The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And he drives ahead for a good yardage up to the 45. So now a timeout for a player who's shaken up on that previous snap. And I think we can all agree not what any of us were hoping to see as we close out this regular season. Second and three now. He'll throw it. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. I'm sure Coach and Play Caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, Play Calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Here's the handoff. And they bring him down around the 34. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. At the Vikings. From the 34. Hits his man on the out route. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Okay, I know exactly what's going to happen. I've seen it once, I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> Next week on the practice field, this running back's gonna say, see, I'm not just a running back, I can play receiver. And you receivers, you couldn't do my job, but I just showed you I could do yours. And they're gonna get this down to the four before being stopped. Give them about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets them up with first and goal. to go. It's a pass play. And he will score. Touchdown Miami. The Dolphins stretch their early lead to nine. Well, we've certainly gotten used to calling his touchdowns all season, haven't we? There have been a lot of them, Brock. And that last one makes it official. Pump that coat, baby. The receiving record for touchdowns in a season. And the level of opposition he's overcome, especially as he neared this record, the whole world watching every team doing all they can, committing extra resources to stop him. Well, they can't do it. And all he did was score, 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 score. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at this Vikings offense. And they haven't gotten their legs under them on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. That's gonna be caught by Mitchell. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, the defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that, creating third and extra longs, it's exactly how you get it done. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Here's McCarthy to throw. He has the first over the middle. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They run for the first time with a rookie from Clemson. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. That's in the hands of Moore. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. 
A less than ideal third and eight here. McCarthy to throw it. That one is caught left side of the field. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. So that connection for a first will bring us to the end of the first. It's a two-score game early. Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. We're ready now for the second quarter to begin. Vikings in control of it. They're looking at yet another first and 10 on this drive. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Running it after the penalty. And he's brought down for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. Here we go, second and very long. Dump off complete to his running back. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field. But they were all over that check down, ready to turn it into a negative play. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled for a short game. It's plays like that, Kate. Why wrong? Do I sit and judge defense? I judge the awareness. I judge how well that coordinator's got him equipped to see what's going on in the field. Not just see it, but attack it. And they devoured that screen game on third down. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Dolphins, ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And he's one final strong week away from finishing as the NFL's leader in passing yards for this season. After gaining a handful. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Rifles it and it's caught. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They're set up at the 35 now. Throwing from the gun. Quick hitter complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. From the 40 on second down. He puts a mare under this one deep right. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. He'll look to throw. He's looking deep once again. He makes the catch. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins make it a 16-point ball game. That type of play right there, Brock, who do you credit more? You crediting him for making the catch or the quarterback for putting just the right touch on that football? Are you asking me the quarterback or me the <laughs> analyst? <laughs> the unbiased observer of football. Sure, sure. Well, the quarterback's going to say, that's all of me. That's a beautiful arc. Don't you love that touch? Yep, the receiver's yep. going to say, yeah, but I'm the one who brought it down for you. The answer is it's both, and that was awesome. That one right down the middle. 
and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Vikings taking the field on offense. And things starting to get a little out of hand for him, Brock. That last score made it 17 zip. Addison going in motion right. On first down, they'll run. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, gets the better defenses in this league. Decent game here, but short of the first. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. There's just no question about it. He has the license to adapt a little bit, to diagnose plays because they trust his instincts. And there, it was all on display. Expert-level diagnosis going on to see a potential run and get in position to stop it behind the line. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. He's got it at the 22. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Dolphins are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he's in position to lead the NFL in passing touchdowns this season. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. They put a receiver in motion right. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, don't get me wrong, Kate. Every defensive guy, they watch tape in their own ways. But linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. They'll run now on second down. And he's brought down at the line. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He fires one deep down the left sideline. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that brings up fourth and long. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. And he calls for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 14-yard line. No return on that punt. And the Vikings are going to take over from deep in their own side. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to throw. Here's McCarthy. Couldn't bring it in over the middle. Incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. So second down coming up. Now it's McCarthy. Pass is caught by Addison. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. Third down from the gun. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. Minnesota lined up in punt for...
And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. He'll start from the 39. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Dolphins back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And you can see that in our final week of the regular season, had a better nose for the end zone than him. Throwing it to start this drive. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get this through the midfield strike and starts pushing into Vikings territory. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. At the 47 yard line. From the 47. Got his target. It's Hill. And he'll get it down to the 24 yard line. It's a 23 yard pickup on the play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Set now, first and ten. They'll try and throw it here. This one's taken in by Hill. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 19. Cut near the goal line. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins get more. And a lopsided first half. Tyreek Hill the touchdown. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape. Being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Vikings getting one more drive here before the break. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. They've got Blackjack on the clock. Not a ton of time to use before halftime. Now McCarthy. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. No place to go, so he just threw it away. Not on the same page that time. And it'll be third and five coming up. McCarthy throwing here. He completes it in traffic. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. He's back to throw. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. And that one hits the ground incomplete. A single second left now on the clock. Here comes the final play of our first half. Looking to throw. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. But it's incomplete. So we're halfway through this final week of the regular season. Now it's up north to Orlando for a look around the league. We've got Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And the Patriots have the lead in the final stages before halftime. The Pat trying to finish that one off and claim victory. From there, we'll take a trip east to check on the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they have the lead over the visiting Buccaneers as that game has gone to halftime. Caleb Williams with a touchdown pass. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. 
Nick Boyle leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. The Vikings have it teed up, and play resumes with the kick. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. There he goes on the right side. Touchdown. He takes the kick all the way back for six. Well, when it set up perfectly, Brock, and you get an exciting return man back there fielding it. Wow, there are not many plays in football more exciting than taking a kick back for six. Find those blockers, follow those blockers, and then step on the gas. So simple for me to describe, yet so tough to execute on the field. After watching one kick get taken back, partner, let's see how well they can replicate it as this one's away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. And just a week before the playoffs begin, partner, here's where teams stand as we play out this regular season finale. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Open receiver, caught. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Give him 24 on that play. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. He's got him. That's Addison. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. And it's got to come back. Still first down. Still first down. Receiver in motion, headed right. Here's McCarthy to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And he's out of bounds after getting across the 45. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's the long back on the handoff. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Able to get it to Moore. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Good luck defending that short yardage slam. Just not going to happen. There's a reason this is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Second and one. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Throwing now off play action. He's going to push one deep down the right. It's tipped away and he's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Took his shot at six that time. So they're going to have to evaluate things now on fourth and short. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's not going to do a ton against what is now a 28-point gap. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And an excellent return here sets them up almost at midfield. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. Oh, 
They'll throw to begin this drive. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Throwing now on first down. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Second and three now. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And he will score, touchdown Miami. The Dolphins push their lead further to start the half. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Vikings now set to take the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Complete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. McCarthy looking to throw. He's on the move. He's keeping it. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. McCarthy to throw it. That's into the hands of Moore. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. They'll run here on first down. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate. The first time I heard this term, slow to explode through. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow to explode through. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. They don't get that yard back, but no more. It's third and ten. Now it's McCarthy. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. This is one of those situations where QB strength and ability to run could be a great blessing but can also be a curse. We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. The Vikings getting their punt team out. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter.
play action on first down. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins stretch their lead on the final play of the third. Well, this is something we've been monitoring, and it's actually happened for just the third time ever. A player has caught 20 touchdowns in a single season as he joins a couple of the greatest to do it, Jerry Rice and Randy Moss in this exclusive club. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Only one quarter remaining now in these teams' regular season. And after that last second score in the third, we'll resume play with a kickoff. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now the Minnesota offense trotting out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love like that. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 31. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Back to throw, here's McCarthy. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's gonna be brought down at the 42. It's a pickup of 11. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Looking to throw, McCarthy. Complete over the middle to the big tight end. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. All right, all set up now. First and 10. Throwing from the gun here. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive. And the defender comes away with it. as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. This return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. Their offense ready to take the field now. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Getting right back to it after that interception. Here's the throw on the out route, complete. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. First down, ball at the 36. Now McCarthy. 
Finds his man en route complete. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. And the Vikings first down. McCarthy throwing here. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When he saw the field, it's going to be second down. away mm, and things just seem to keep snowballing for them now their special teams is involved that's into the end zone for a touchback drive starts out with a first and ten Defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They gotta get to the passer, they gotta set an edge, and they gotta stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of Wow, his first real mistake. That's intercepted. Ivan Pace has got it. Second and long. They didn't have to pass Brock, but you kinda knew that was what was coming. And they had the right coverage out there to pick it off. Yeah, you really have two choices here, Kate, offensively, right? You could play conservative, try to get to a manageable third down, or you go step on the gas with aggressiveness. And I love aggressiveness. The problem? Well, this defense saw it coming, and even more so, they took it away. They went up and attacked it and got the ball for themselves. Now outruns their offense to take over. Well, their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Come out throwing. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Offense at the line, but they won't snap it. We've got a timeout. Second and ten now. Stays upright. He's on the move. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. You know, that may have been a situation you look back on it and watch us the tape the next day. He's got to find a way to throw the ball because his running ability, while gets him some yards, is not enough to get the first down. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. It's the two-minute warning here in Minneapolis. Vikings hoping to do some window dressing in the time remaining. So the Vikings sending out the field goal team here. It's about 43 yards for it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And Brock, I'd say that's more of a moral victory than uh, something that's really going to affect the deficit much. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field. That's the best way to gain it as a kicker. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. And last drive, he reached one of those numbers that everyone looks at as a benchmark after the season ends, Brock. Quite the year that he's put together finding the end zone. They've got first down from the 31. Lone 
back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Brings up second and four at the 37 yard line. Back to back carries here. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. That's good for seven yards. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Receiver in motion going left. Back to the well again. No one around. He's got space. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane up field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. So it's fins up as the Dolphins take the win at home. And they end the season the way they have so many games already this year, Brock, with a victory. And now they get to enjoy an extra week off to rest and prepare to host a game in the divisional round coming up in two weeks. So for Brock Heward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins, your winners, as we say so long from Miami.